Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to work on grounding our laser. We went through everything that Ortho wanted us to go through and they are supposed to be sending us a grounding kit. We're still waiting and we have things to do. So we are going to do it ourselves. We have a PDF file that shows us how to do it. So let's do it. Okay guys, everything we need today. We have zip ties. Speaker wire, ring terminal, screwdriver, wire cutters, and a plug. This is the piece that comes with the laser. Um, it's actually for the um, cable bundle, so we can. Uh, we'll show you how it works later. Uh, this is not the correct one to use, uh, but like we said, we're waiting for the kit to come in and uh, we're just going to use the ground plug. The important thing with this is to make sure you don't let anything touch these so we'll probably even take this off completely and only have the ground connected. And as soon as we get the proper kit we will swap it out and have the proper plug. So first thing we're going to do is measure our, our speaker wire. Uh, they said to use the laser as a measuring tool we're going to give it a little extra just to be on the safe side. So here's our first cut. Next we're using the diagonal length to get about 27 inches. Give it a little extra again. All right, our next cut is to the closest grounding source and our power strip sits over here. So we're going to kind of measure around to it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is just separate the wire. We only need one of the two. Oh. And we'll do that on our other two as well. So next what we're going to do is strip our wire about 0.6 inches on all of the cut ends. Okay, we'll get all the rest of those stripped and we'll move on. Next, what we're going to do is twist together these in order. So the shortest one, the four inch or so one, to an 11 inch, and then to another 11 inch. Now we're going to grab the ring terminals and put those on. What we're going to do is put the ring terminal on. We'll get our ring terminal and we'll put it in there just to where it's poking through a little bit. We're going to crimp it and ours is an insulated terminal. And this says insulated and non, so we're going to make sure we use the right one. And it's good. Now we're going to do that on all of them but the short, the other end of the short four inch piece. Alright, so exposed end, ring terminal, ring terminal, single ring terminal. The document says to use a Phillips head but uh, the screws are actually Allen. So when we're looking at it from the front, we're going to take out the top left. All right, so now we're going to pull the screw out and the single end of the long 11 inch piece will go in here. We'll just tighten it down a little bit, not over tightening it. Now we're going to move over to the Y axis and do the double terminal where the two longer pieces come together. All right, over here, we're going to tape the top right out. And this one is a Phillips. And we're going to come. So our single is up here. The next one is where the two 11 inches are hooked together. We switched uh, to this terminal because this screw is a little too big to go through the ring. Okay, 
our next one is the screw on the left of our motherboard mount. We unplugged all the cables so that I don't break anything. This screw is also big, so we're going to replace this one as well. Next thing we're going to do is ground the limit switch. So we're going to pull off the black wire. I think what we're going to do is this little metal piece here. We need that to be cut to the length of the wire. Then we are going to all right now we're gonna try to slide that back in. we just took the limit switch off so that we could have a better handle on it while we put it on okay, this is our next screw so we're gonna pull it out and see what size it is first before we're putting a terminal on the end of our wire It's another big screw, so we'll put the big terminal on that. This one that we just put in is the one that is grounded to our power source. Taking off the other terminals and only leaving the ground. We threaded it through the back of our plug. it all up. We're going to get our harness plug back in and plug our ground in and we'll pull out the multimeter and see how it works. All right we pull out the multimeter and we have it set at continuity. So we'll put one of our prongs up here where our first ground went in and then we're going to touch our other points and if we hear the noise then we know it's grounded. So it's grounded and we should try it out now. The last thing we do, we're gonna do before our test run is use this fancy little tool. It goes here in the wire holder and we'll just open it up. That way we're able to tuck our wires in. Tuck the wires in there. That way everything is out of the way. We'll get everything back in the enclosure and run a test burn and see how it does.
We were in a little bit of a hurry to do our grounding test and didn't get it quite where we wanted to and burned off the edge a little bit. But it ran the whole time. Uh, the reason we needed it grounded is it's stopping in the middle of our burns. So it worked and we've got a ton more to be doing on the laser. So uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.